Welcome to another Friday edition of Is It Possible to Have a Good Night Out In? And tonight we are going to be in Rougely, uh, which is kind of between Burton, Litchfield and Tamworth, sort of. Um, so we're heading there now. Uh, but somebody suggested that we stop off at the red line in Brereton, which is just on the way into Rougely first. So before we get into Rougely, we decided to uh, come out here and see what this wonderful looking red line pub has to offer in Brereton. So pub number one is going to be that. Yeah, I'm glad we stopped here. It's a, it's a really nice old pub. Uh, it's really bustling through here in the other room when it's pulled over and stuff like that. They do really good food at good prices by the looks of things. Uh, Sarah behind a bar is very, very friendly. Uh, it's a very nice place. Uh, all the Halloween decks up already. Fair play. We are now in the build up to Halloween, so you should have your Halloween decorations up. Uh, this was apparently, according to the, uh, the board behind me, rebuilt in about 1847, uh, the Red Lion. So it's uh, steeped in history. Very nice place to start. Uh, on the way to Rougely from here, so see what else the, uh, the evening has in store for us. I wanted something on the way out, so I had to get this. Look at this. Look. It's a doggy wall of fame. I love a good doggy wall of fame. Really dog free, really, really nice pub this. Really good. Luckily, uh, earlier on, I did post on the page we were in Rougely tonight to get a few suggestions. Someone said, don't miss out the Rusty Barrel, which is a micro pub on kind of a housing estate. So it's not really in the center, uh, but we've only, we've only been traveling for about five minutes to get out here. And it is uh, just over here. So we're gonna go in and see that one. Oh, yeah, you know how much we love a micro pub. Uh, the ceiling here. All the pump clips and stuff on this way. Uh, it's dog friendly. It's just a just a really nice little, uh, really nice little micro pub. Micro pubs are the best. So yeah, the pump. Super little place. Uh, just one more to do on the outskirts of Rougely before we head into the town. Uh, brings us to a food house uh, called the Stags Leap. Thought we'd get this done on the way back into the town. Huge, great food pub, master's pub. It's uh, absolutely rad. Bustling place. Yeah, definitely a food house, uh, typical master's menu. Decent, decent enough food, to be fair. Everyone's friendly, seems a good atmosphere. So we're back towards the town, sort of to the bottom of the town now, where we're, we're now gonna start moving in towards Ruthie Town. Uh, and this is called The Chase. I don't know if you can see this. It's like some kind of like Disney castle or something. It's quite impressive. It looks like another Marston's food house. It's quite impressive from the outside though. That's what it was like in. Uh, yeah, as expected, like it's a massive great Marston's. It's nice in size, big, uh, big sports, uh, big sports screen. Pub goes all the way around. Marston's menu. Uh, yeah, decent, decent boozer. A good place to watch football. Good place to get a cheap, nice bite to eat. Decent boozer, this. So we are now on the outskirts of the town, and this has been the most suggested to us on the Facebook post uh, from earlier for the night. This is the Vine. Um, everybody is, every, literally everybody has said the Vine, the Vine, the Vine is the one to go to. So, in we go. So I can totally see why uh, the Vine Inn was the one that everybody, everybody said about. So it's got its own brewery. Uh, and not only have they got all of their own uh, sort of porters, IPAs, bits and stuff on, but they also make all of their own uh, vodkas and their own gins um, and rums. Right, right. Do you want to be in the right Want to do this? Always interrupting me. That's the problem. So I've just had a, uh, I just had a nip of their uh, their chili vodka, and uh, that's potent. I can, uh, it's warms the cockles, let's say. But uh, yeah, this is a, this is a wicked pub. And what the rant? So cheap. It's like cheap. It's as cheap as Weatherspoons with a much better ambiance and atmosphere and everything else. Really old pub. What? Five hundred years old? What's your name? Bobby. This is Bobby. Um, Go on, roughly. How many years old? Five hundred. About that. About five hundred. We think. And the no other, one's quite sure. And the other oldest pub in Rouge is? Uh, the Little Red Lion. The Little Red Lion. Looking forward to going down there. But yeah, top bobbin. I can see why this was the most named, uh, most named on the post. I tell you what, I absolutely loved it in there. The vine, I can see why people have raved about the vine and said to go in there. Top notch, people were absolutely lovely. We also met the gaffer in there of Whitworth and Mason's lounge bar. Uh, and he's given us a, a route. He wasn't just saying go there because he's his gaff. He was a really nice fella. Uh, so this is our next port of call. Went with a Masons, and then we're literally in the square. It's very quiet. There's not a soul around. And late at night, not a creature was stirring. No, no, I can hear music and stuff. So there's obviously pubs and things, but yeah, the town centre's quite quiet. Let's go in. Uh, let's go in with a Masons. It was like yeah, this is lovely, lovely, like first floor micro pub. Um,
Yeah, proper, proper nice. Uh, I'm a nice gaffer, so he deserves to be busy enough. Generally, does deserve to be busy enough. First floor, but yeah. It's nice, man. Rustic. Very rustic. I love that word, rustic. Yeah, it's really nice in there. So, we're in, uh, yeah, in the sound set again. There's some lovely, uh, some lovely architecture in, uh, Rugeley. I do this every video, don't I? There's some lovely architecture in Rugeley. Um, Right, we're going to the Shrew next, uh, because apparently you have to pay a fiver to get in here after a certain time, and I ain't paying a fiver to get in anywhere to go in for one drink. So, uh, me and my wife, who's left her coat off, look at this, look, she's actually left her coat off. Actually doing as I'm told. Actually doing as she's told, which has never happened. Um, it's a 30 second walk from over there. There's, there's a few in this square, to be honest. One just here as well, by the looks of things. We've got the Halloween decks up. A little bit of Halloween decks up. Next up, the Shrew. We've got an early evening karaoke on. Yeah, so it's a decent booth, it's big, uh, plenty of spa. I can see why it's probably the late opening one of the town, so yeah. But uh, yeah, girls singing, uh, again, the girls singing pretty good. You know what, the shrew, the shrew actually, it's, it's alright. I can see why people would go in there late on um, and stuff like that. Like the, the, the guy behind the bar is really friendly. The singing, this, uh, the girl called Susan that sings, she's great. Um, Right, next stop is the Little Red, so second red line of the night, but the Little Red Line, and I see now why they call it the Little Red Line, because it is just like this little cottagey type thing with tiny doors. Holly's going to seem like a regular sized yeah, person in the doorway. Door. Yeah, Holly's going to seem like a regular, a regular sized person going through that door. I know. I'm alright with that. Yeah. This is Rugeley's other um, oldest pub. Must be five hundred. it must be five hundred. I mean the ceiling is, I don't know if you can see how close my head is to the ceiling. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a lovely little bar area. Um, Got a, uh, it's not a blue plaque, but it's a blue plaque certificate. A British heritage pubs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, just it's a, this is a nice little piece of history. This is nice little, nice little bit of history. So back out and onto the square. I didn't, uh, there is quite a few actually. So there's the tavern over behind me, which is quite noisy and rambunctious. Uh, our next stop is supposed to be bar number three. So we're gonna head in here. It looks a bit quiet, but we're gonna we're gonna head in here. It looks like a date night spot. So. See, she's moaning at me again. So we're in this lovely, this is an absolutely lovely little cocktail bar, uh, micro pub vibe type place as well. We met Maxine, who runs this place. Here's a wave, there we are. Maxine's lovely, so she was about to close, but she took pity on a poor, thirsty Cockney who said to her, come on, let's have a drink, let's have a drink. And I, I, I basically blagged our way in like I do. So, uh, so we've, now, we've now got a free cocktail. So I've got a pina colada, and you know how much I love a pina colada. So we're going to taste this together. Here we go. I've told her about the I've told her about the best pina colada in the country. So we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I tell you what, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed by that. That's very good. Oh, got all the after. Oh yeah, got all the coconutty pineapple after. Oh, Ooh, very good. Loving it in here. Rugely, Rugely's doing all right so far. Rugely's doing all right. Uh, what a lovely lady in over there. Uh, right, so opposite is the tavern. Uh, they've got a, a private 18th going on, but I've been very reliably informed by some gentlemen out here that uh, I can probably blag my way in. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna head into the tavern. There's there's a party happening in there. Yeah, it's an 18th party, and they are they are pretty steamy. We got in, we had a drink. They're having a great time. Yeah, we got in, we had a drink. Uh, now we get here. I think we're heading to the cabin. Uh, and then the Albion, maybe, the cabin is this room, just there in front of us, so not far. You know, yeah, it's nice to find a bit of atmosphere. Expensive in there for Rugeley though, £13 for two single vodka and dark hoax, which is quite expensive for what we found in Rugeley so far. Uh, nice little micropub again though, really, really good little place. Now we're in the cabin for a Gary Barlow tribute act, look. Yeah. Decent size booze are nice atmosphere, friendly dormant. What more do you want? Gary Barlow tribute. He's good to be honest, the old uh, Gary Barlow tribute fella. Um, oh, Bo Jollies. So right, so that's right. Right, we've just found Bo Jollies. So we've got that. Uh, we've got that in a bit. Uh, I forgot about that. Uh, so our next port of call is the Albion where apparently our drinks were already in, so this is my kind of pub, this. So, uh, yeah, like it. So it managed to the Albion. This is, uh, this is a decent enough movie. around. So we've met, we, we had a bit, we've, we've, met, we've met Barb, the landlady, we've met Barb, but she's only the landlady for about three weeks. So what you need to do is you need to get down here 
We need to get down here on what weekend? Twentieth. The weekend starting the twentieth. Twentieth. It's gonna be it's gonna be a leaving do that lasts like three days. So we need to get down here for that because uh, it's Barb's bar at the moment. But you can't steal the copper. You can't steal the copper. You stand it with her. So uh, yeah, but things 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 need to be done. It's gonna be. I think I feel like that weekend might be a, a big weekend. So we might we might go Litchfield or something that weekend. Stop in here on the way. Be a messy one. Uh, managed to spend too long in the Albion, as we expected to, because Bob was <laughs> really entertaining and quite good fun. Uh, so we've got a couple of minutes just to get to Weatherspoons before it shuts, apparently. Shuts at 12, so that's right in front of us. The plaza. Uh, looks like to be an old cinema building or something like that. So apparently it's up until 12 and it's about 10 to 12. So fingers crossed, we can still get in here. Oh, he is coming, she just walks very slowly. Okay, so not only is this Weatherspoons actually pretty damn beautiful, because it's an old picture house. Um, the toilets, the toilets, and they're on the same level. Take note, other Weatherspoons pubs. Put your toilets on the same level as your drinking. This is good, it's nice. No one wants to walk a mile to go through this. Right. So, uh, yeah, that's where the swings go, it's actually all right. So, short walk around the corner, because we're trying to catch everything now on the, on the hours when they're open, to the Craft Union pub of the town, which is the Crown Inn. Uh, it sounds like a bit of a party atmosphere. Uh, you know what they're doing here? Three wickets for six quid. That's what I'm going. Yeah, pretty standard Craft Union bar. A um, uh, bit, bit of music, football. Um, <laughs> But the important thing is, three wickets for six pounds. And they have literally just subjected me to the 2014 uh, Derby versus Forest game where they beat us 5-0. It's like torture. I'm, oh, awful. Right, so I think this is the last one that we've still got left to do. Bo Jollies. Uh, we're going to get in because Barb's going to get us in, I think. Um, so Bojo is the last one we've got to do. We might end up back at, what was it called, the Shrew? We might end up back at the Shrew. Cause you know, shits and giggles. So finishing up the karaoke, I can't get on, I've tried, but yeah. Narrow moves up, but really good fun. Really good fun, great place to like be late on or whatever. I think we are gonna go back to the Shrew just for, you know, because we can. But yeah, really, really good fun moves. So one about round, it's not what you know, it's who you know. So uh, for the second, for the second, for the second time, for the second time this evening, we're off into the show. So.